Welcome back Your dreams were your ticket out Welcome back To that same old place that you laughed about Hello students and parents, this is Dr. Robertson, Principal of Bragg Middle School. We want to share some important information about the start of school next week. Ready or not, the summer is coming to a close and the 23-24 school year will be starting um, in just a few days and so we want to make sure that we answer some questions and that we let you know of some important things that are coming up. Uh, first off, we want this to be a great school year. We have some things planned, some exciting things planned, but we want this to be a year of learning. Our mission here at Bragg Middle School um, is uh, to ensure rigorous learning for all through engaging innovative instruction, responsible resource management, and meaningful community and family collaboration focused on student success. And we achieve that through our vision. The, the vision of Bragg Middle School is to be characterized by the use of best practices resulting in effectively providing for the diverse needs of all learners. We want this to be a year of growth. It's interesting to see in my this is starting my ninth year as principal of Bragg Middle School. It's interesting to see sixth graders come in, young elementary kids, and then leaving big high schoolers. And so you see a lot of physical growth that takes place between sixth and eighth grade. But we also want to see a lot of academic growth that takes place between the start and the end of their Bragg career, their middle school career. We want to see students change and grow academically. And this year we want to focus on a growth mindset. We want to focus on that with our teachers. We want to focus on that with our students. We want to focus on that with parents, with the community, community members, with the administration, all of that. Um, a growth mindset, that's to get stronger, to get better, to grow. And just like with any sport or just like playing an instrument, you must practice, you must exercise, you must do these things to get better and to grow. Oftentimes after working out, uh, you may be sore, you may be tired, and that's, that's part of the uh, growing pains, that's part of the productive struggle that we face to grow, to get better. You know, we, we don't want to uh, share random facts for rote memorization, but uh, we, we want to take a concept to dive deep into it and, and search for the solution and work, uh, work for that solution through discourse and through investigation into understanding it's difficult but productive and this is how learning takes place. We want our teachers to be guides and facilitators, not just a spewer of random facts uh, to be memorized. Uh, a growth mindset is realizing that mistakes happen, that, that life isn't always easy, that, that uh, academics is a struggle, but it's a productive one of growth. Um, this is where true learning takes place and that's our target for this year. I um, want to share some dates with you on Monday of this week coming up will be Camp Bragg for our sixth grade gray team. We had Camp Bragg for our maroon team already. This will be Camp Bragg for our sixth grade gray team. It will start at 5 o'clock on Monday and end by 6.30. We will meet in the gym for a brief orientation. There we can ask questions, tour the school, meet with teachers, talk about first day information and, and what you can expect. The gray team, if you're not sure if you're on the gray team, that would be Miss Donaldson, Mrs. Harris, Mrs. Moore, and Mrs. Yeager. So if you're on the gray team, we look forward to seeing you Monday night at Camp Bragg. Tuesday is our first day of school. Ready or not, it's here. Uh, our doors open at 7.15, uh, and we'll dismiss the classes beginning around 7.45. So, uh, we know there's a lot of traffic on the first day because parents want to drop their kids off instead of riding the bus or people aren't sure exactly where to go, all of that. Just if you can, try to be here on time so we, so your child will know exactly where they need to go so we can uh, help them. On a normal school day, 7.55, they're tardy to class. Now we know the first week and until we get acclimated to it, we're very lenient on that. But, but, uh, but on a normal day, they're tardy to class at 7.55 and absent at 8.05 and must be checked in. Our buses and cars all drop off in front of the school, uh, in front of the gym, in this circle. We ask everyone to drop off there. I know it may be tempting at times to drop off behind the school or on the side of the school, but that is unsafe. We need to make sure we're crossing where there is an open door to come into, an unlocked door where there's a crossing guard that can help cross, where we know that there aren't cars 
flying by or, or buses coming around the corner or anything like that, we ask everyone to drop off in that circle, please. We ask everyone to enter in through the gym. Everyone will enter in through the gym, uh, and that's every day. Now, on the first day, they'll get a new copy of their schedule, and they'll sit according to their first period teacher's uh, class, and that way we can get them to their first period class without getting lost. Now, of course, when they come in, if they eat breakfast at school, they can pick up their schedule, go to the cafeteria to get their breakfast, and then on the first day, we'll get them back to the gym. On a normal day, they'll stay in the lunchroom to dismiss from there if they eat breakfast, but on the first day, they'll come in through the gym, get a copy of their schedule, go eat and come back if they do so, or if not, they'll sit just sit in the gym according to their first period class. If you still have any bus questions, we sent out a Google form uh, on our Facebook page and on several emails uh, that we have uh, made with uh, school messages. If you have any questions about the pickup time, drop off time, the bus number, anything like that, please let us know. Mr. Hunley, one of our assistant principals, is working tirelessly to get those questions answered. If, if your child rode a bus here at Bragg last year, it's the same bus driver, same bus number. That has not changed. At registration, we handed out uh, rules at a glance, and this is just uh, our, uh, the Jefferson County Parent Teacher Handbook uh, consolidated into a one pager. And just to go over a couple things with you, on a daily basis, again, we'll drop off in the front of the school no earlier than 7.15, and that's for safety reasons. We do not have supervision in place before 7.15, so please wait till 7.15 to drop off. Everyone will enter in through the gym and either stay there or go to the lunchroom if they eat breakfast. We'll dismiss to class about 7.45. Students are tardy at 7.55, and they're absent at 8.05 and must be checked in by a parent at 8.05. Um, if a student checks in, it is unexcused unless it's accompanied by a doctor's excuse or a court um, excuse. Uh, parents, if you uh, need your child to ride a different bus, if they're riding a the bus with a friend or, or spending the night with someone, we need a note in writing that morning because that does have to go through several people. We do that for safety reasons, but but the office has to see it and the bus driver has to get a copy of that. So uh, we, need, we need that in writing uh, the morning of. Uh, as far as attendance goes, um, students, we need you to turn in your excuse within three days of your absence. Uh, parents, there are seven parent excuses for the school year. Um, if you check out of school, you cannot check back in without a doctor's note. Um, make sure, students, that we're getting to class on time. Again, beginning of school, we're, we're very lenient with that, but we need to make sure we're getting to class on time because uh, tardies can count as absences if they add up and towards detention, things like that. Um, parents, if you're going to check a, your uh, child out of school, you, you must show ID. This is all for safety purposes. Uh, must be on the checkout list and must be over 18 years of age. So if someone's checking a student out, they must be 18 or older, show their ID and be on their checkout list. As far as our dress code is concerned, uh, let's make sure there's no midriff showing, nothing too revealing, no shorts or skirts more than four inches above the bend of the knee. Um, I know for some reason it's tempting to draw uh, on yourself sometimes. I don't know why, but it is. So let's just make sure that we're not taking markers out, coloring on ourselves, doing all of that. But make sure the, the form-fitting pants, such as leggings, jeggings, uh, yoga pants, tights, all of that, that we're not uh, wearing those unless we have something on over it that goes down to no more than four inches above the bend of the knee. Uh, only piercings within the ears are allowed. Pants must be worn at the waist and no holes above the knees in our pants. And let's make sure we're not wearing hoods, hats, or sunglasses uh, in the school. Uh, parents, if, you, if your child uh, takes medication at school, please make sure that all the medication is in possession of our school nurse, that um, it's been dropped off, signed in with her, and that it's uh, been accompanied by the doctor's orders. If it's over-the-counter medication, it must be in an unopened bottle. This includes things like Tylenol uh, or inhalers. All that must be with the nurse. Um, phones. We know that phones are a necessity in some ways. Sometimes uh, students um, arrive home before the parents and that's their way of communications and I and I get that. I completely get that. But in, at, on the school level they are a major source of distraction and they are an incredible uh, perpetuator of drama and unnecessary things within the middle school. So phones, if a student brings a phone they must be turned off 
and put away. They, they cannot come out. Um, so if you need to send a, pay, a message to your child, uh, call the office. We will be glad to give them that information. Um, if a phone is taken up, if it's used during the school day, it, it's taken up, locked in the office, and only a parent can, can pick it up. As far as other devices go, we are a one-to-one -one district and students will be issued a Chromebook. Uh, for use with that, if they're using earbuds at school, they must be wired earbuds, not the Bluetooth or wireless earbuds. And the Chromebooks, we need to remember, are for school purposes. They're not for games and videos, things like that. Smart watches are not allowed as they are against the, the handbook as far as a communication device. We'd like to share some important dates that are coming up. First, our first holiday, already thinking of holidays, aren't we, uh, is Monday, uh, September the 4th, that's Labor Day. The next day, will September the 5th on Tuesday, will be an E-Day. Our open house will be Tuesday, September the 12th. We'll give you more information about that later. And the end of the first nine weeks will be uh, October the 6th, and that following Monday will be an E-Day and report cards will be coming home right after that. School Picture Day is August the 24th, so make sure that you're prepared for your pictures. Those are the pictures that will be used uh, for the yearbooks. That's Thursday, October the 24th. And parents and students, we know that middle school is a tough age. It, it, it really is. It's a fun age, it's a memorable age, but it's a tough age. And so helping with some uh, decision making we try to institute a lot of character education and 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 positive interaction with, with peers uh, we, we use the BMS way to be kind make good choices show respect book studies with the essential 55 seven habits of highly effective teens a leader in me uh, we have advisory lessons uh, and the kindness challenge of the week and I want to share our kindness challenge of the week uh, and we don't want this to be uh, an act of kindness that you do for one week and then stop, but just each week add a new uh, piece of kindness to your tool belt. And the kindness challenge of this week is to help random people. Pick up something that they dropped or open the door for them. Do a favor, simply smile, uh, and don't expect anything in return. Our fall sports will be starting soon. We don't have a schedule yet for our cross country meets but our volleyball matches will begin on August the 24th with uh, matches at Simmons Middle School and our football team will be hosting Thompson for their first game a jamboree on August the 24th so come out and support the volleyball team the cross country team or in our football games many of the games we have our cheerleaders our dance team the band will perform in some of those so come out and support and and get involved show, show the students here that, that you really support them and students if you're not a part of that come out and and support them um, we know that there are lots of questions and lots of concerns that come up at the start of school year especially with sixth grade coming into a new school so I want to share some people of who you can get in touch with uh, if you need to uh, for seventh and eighth grade concerns uh, you can reach out to Mr. Hundley, one of our assistant principals. He's also the one, he is our bus guru. So if you have any questions or concerns about the bus, he's the best person to reach. Ms. Shelby primarily works with sixth grade, but Mr. Hundley and Ms. Shelby work with all students. But on, on just as a means of being the point person, Ms. Shelby's typically sixth grade and Mr. Hundley seventh and eighth grade. As far as our counselors go, Ms. Irvin uh, works primarily with the sixth grade and Ms. Perel works with seventh and eighth grade. Ms. Perel is also heavily involved in the schedule as well. So if you have any scheduling concerns or questions, reach out to her. Our nurse, Nurse Courtney, uh, if you have any questions or concerns concerning immunizations, uh, medications, or any just health needs, reach out to her. Uh, Ms. Harris is our media specialist. If you have questions about Chromebooks or student emails or the technology piece, she is your person. Ms. Dice is our office coordinator, so if there's anything to do with finance or paying fees or anything like that, feel free to contact her. Ms. Pearsall is our registrar, so she would be a good one to contact if there's any questions about registration or residency. And then Ms. Wood is our attendance secretary, so if there's any questions or concerns or to leave a message for a teacher or a student, you can contact her. Or if there's anything about excuses or absences, she would be the one to reach. All of their contact information along with all the contact information for all of our faculty and staff is on the weekly newsletter. And I encourage you to uh, check out that weekly newsletter each week 
Uh, there you'll find out what we're having for lunch, the happenings for the week. We're always adding future dates. You can look at dates already into May uh, under that newsletter. There's links that are important for students and information on, on contacting uh, any one of our faculty members. And parents and students, we are so excited to start a new school year. Kind of hate to see summer end so quick, but we are very excited about a new school year and we see great things happening. Uh, parents, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're all on the same team and that's to see your child grow and to succeed, to see them be uh, ready for high school as soon as they leave Bragg. We want them to be college and career ready when they leave high school and that, that all happens here at the middle school. Uh, we hope you all have a great day and today is a great day to be a rock. Good times never seem so